Today on the channel, we head deep, deep into the jungle with the G.I. Joe classified Cobra Shadow Tracker. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another G.I. Joe Classified series unboxing and review and today on the channel we got a little Walmart exclusive action as we got the old shadow tracker but for all your shadow tracker needs well Walmart for now but all your other G.I. Joe needs make sure you ended up entertainment earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there, as we do know. And the Shadow Tracker, an interesting one. Of course, we also unboxed uh, from the same wave, I guess we'll call it Walmart exclusive, uh, the Wolf Spider. Now, Wolf Spider and Shadow Tracker, both a little bit deeper cut Joes out there. I have no history with the Wolf Spider, but Shadow Tracker was a very popular 3 and 3 Force one 10 years ago. Uh, what is time, as we always do say. But that was one of the harder to find ones in back in the G.I. Joe 3 and 3 Force days. Always enjoyed that figure have to imagine i'll enjoy this one as well i can just imagine if i had him as a kid he'd be hunting down rakondo somewhere in my uh, figure fed if i'd be playing with but does look pretty cool does look a little bit scary and i'm here for some of those scary elements in the gi joe classified line bring on nemesis don't call him immortal we're calling him enforcer can't wait for him hopefully we get some more of those guys in 2024 as well but of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there and let's see what this old shadow tracker is up to here look at that looking pretty good looking mean is what he looks like here you got that accessory uh ribbon up there at the top a couple of different glamour shots you got him in the jungle right there ready to square off with arnold and the predator maybe who knows cobra logo down here gi joe classified any easter eggs going on here we get some of that, uh, what is it, Energon? We saw that with Mole Rat as well, so there's some of that in the background. Uh, you got some pyramids going on back there, and it looks like somebody's skydiving in the background as well. I guess maybe Airborne, I, I don't know, who knows? Could be Ripcord, could be our old boy Ripcord, who knows there? Uh, but looking good here, I especially like the masks on the character here, we're going to get to that. Of course, on the side, a little glamour shot. We're at 108 all over the place in the numbers here. 108 on the side, QR code as well. Then on the back... Playing a lot of hits down low, not really, a bunch of jibber-jabber. Then we got the breakout of the figure, what's going on, what all, all the fuss is about. Four and up, there you go, four-year-olds and up can have this. But let's see what the old Shadow Tracker is up to. I'm sure no good, I'm sure no good. See you later, goodbye. And there he is in the old cardboard prison. Man, this looks really, really cool. Looking very intimidating right off the get-go right there. Really like the looks of him here, but we're going to cut him out. Looks like we got the plastic going on. I'm here for the plastic. Uh, of course, we've seen ropes. We've seen plastic. Seems to be plastic is the way of the future here. Dump all those there. We give the old see you later off to the side. There it goes. But looking good. We'll dive in here. Of course, we get the little storage locker. Cobra Shadow Tracker. Number 108. Cobra logo. All the usual stuff over here on this. But looking very, very good here. Pull this one out. Now it's time for the old parchment paper. We got a little Spider-Man style. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye, there it goes. And then parchment paper all day long. Pull, oh my gosh, all kinds of stuff going on here. That seems to be it. We're going to have the old sky hook. See you later. Oh, there it went, right there. But let's get down to business. Let's start off with these accessories first. And we're seeing a tradition. We're seeing a theme here, of course, from these Night Force ones, or I guess the Walmart ones, we'll call it. Technically not Night Force here. Jungle Force is what we'll call it. Uh, but gummy weapons. And we got a little bit of gumminess in this bow and arrow, or I guess this bow, we'll call it here. But it is a bit gummier than I would like it to be. Uh, very interesting. I guess heat it up and make it stretch out, but it is kind of folded in the middle. We do get one arrow going on right here, so I guess we do uh, appreciate at least one arrow going on. I think we saw this was it was Storm Shadow. We saw probably the same bow and arrow before. 
Uh, I know we've seen it somewhere along the line, but only in one color. That's kind of a theme with these Walmart ones as well, as we've noticed. So we do have that going there. We do get a backpack here with more arrows. Uh, I like that they're in here. They're not removable, so that is cool. But you can put this one here for storage. You can just plug that right in there somewhat easily. Oh my gosh, but there it is. It does plug in if you need to do that. Got a peg to be in his backpack there. Uh, very good. And then of course you got storage on the sides here, storage on the side on here. Love to be able to store all this stuff on the character. That is ideal for me. All in black once again here on this one as well. Not a lot of color themes on this one here. But now we're going to keep diving in and we're going to look at this. Get a little bit of an axe going on right here. And a little bit different than the Range Viper axe we've seen before. Used a few times. This almost looks like a tomahawk of some sort. Once again, all in a black color. Not a lot of variation to this one is what it is. And then we get a little piece right here. Almost looks like, I don't know what this, oh, this goes on the on the uh, bow here. So we plug that in the front, I believe. I believe, I thought that's where that, yes, it does. Okay, it goes in the front of the bow there. So that must have came off. It is removable. I don't know if it needs to be removable, but it is. So we do have that going on. You got a big old knife going on right here. All kinds of crazy angles on this. You get stabbed with some of this, it's just game over for you. Nice silver blade, nice black handle. At least we got some color on this. I would have hated it if it was all in black. Looks a lot better, looks a lot more menacing that way. But no weapon, no uh, gun, no uh, shotgun, nothing else. He's just taking it to the streets or to the jungle more like it here with a little bit more primitive weapons with uh, knives, axes, bow and arrows. He doesn't need a pistol. He doesn't need a firearm. It is what it is. But now we're going to dive in here. We got to talk head sculpts first on this one. Very cool skull design. The green and black attack like a young overkill. Shout out to New Jersey. Uh, looking very cool on the head on this one. Very, very cool. Looking very uh, fearsome is what he looks like here. Wouldn't want him tracking me in the jungle, that is for sure. But looking very nice. Love the dreadlocks going on. Absolutely cool dreadlocks here. I used to have a buddy that had uh, dreadlocks. His name was Maceo. Shout out to Maceo. Probably not watching this stuff. Uh, but he had awesome dreadlocks like this. And he used to tell me all the time. He was a sales rep for our company. And he was down in a very rural area. And he would have people come up to him all the time that had never seen dreadlocks in person. And would say, could I touch your dreadlocks? And he would just look at these old farmer ladies and stuff and be like... All right, here you go. Touch them. Do whatever you need to. But I'll never forget that. So whenever I see dreadlocks, I always think of him telling these crazy stories of people walking up to him. Can I touch your dreadlocks? Uh, shout out to dreadlocks everywhere. Maybe I'll work on that next. We'll see what happens. But fabulous, fabulous head sculpt. Fabulous figure here. This is going to be the toughest year yet for the G.I. Joe Classified line to do a top 10 list. I'm going to do it on the channel. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. But it's going to be a very difficult piece of business to do here in 2023. But this head sculpt and all timer here. Now we do get face plates here, which is interesting. Now you do get kind of a translucent yellow kind of skull mask here. I'd imagine that slips right over the front. Yes, it does. So it makes him look even more menacing. And then you get a little of that green and black kind of behind there to make it look extra cool. Very, very cool. I love translucent plastic. This looks very awesome. And then you also get one that is a skull mask here. I mean, he looks just like, just fearsome. Like this jungle, I wouldn't mess with this guy in the jungle in a million years. It looks like something you'd run into in like Cannibal Holocaust. Shout out to that movie there if you've ever seen that one. Watch out for the turtles at the end of the day. Uh, but man, I don't know what to even choose. And this guy, unfortunately, is not an army builder. I guess you can make him an army builder if you wanted to. But it would be cool to have three of this guy on display with each different look going there. Kind of as a, a tracker team, maybe something like that. But man, I love this uh, this kind of bone and teeth. I mean, just very, very cool. A little hair on the bottom. Just an all-timer in the head sculpt department, or mass department, I guess I should say, on this guy. Just a very, very cool figure. And this one gets even more ornate as we go. He's got a nice bone necklace going on there. Big vest over the top. Plenty of pockets there to store anything he needs to. I'm sure he's got, like, uh, medicine and stuff from the, you know, uh, rainforest. He's like, oh, if I get stung by something, I got this. I'm sure he's got some of that in his pouches, I'm sure. Looking really good. You got the peg hole in the back, of course, for the backpack looking nice. You get a very similar skull on the side of his shoulder here that we saw in his mask. So very similar to that. That does move out of the way for articulation. Absolutely love these forearm guards on him. Got like bones on the side. Uh, just very, very cool. Definitely different looks there. Uh, continuing on on this figure here, going from the bottom, you got some flames on his shoes. I love that extra attention to detail. 
little flames down there. Of course, even if you're in the jungle, you're still an A's fan, and he's got the Terry Steinbach shin guards going on right here, looking nice. Got the knee pads, thigh pads, you got a little holster on the side here. He's got almost like a Eternia-like loincloth over here. A little leopard print going on. A little bit of fur. And then an old-fashioned rope belt. Shout out to the rope belts. We've talked those stories recently on the channel. Uh, looking good with the rope belt. And then some more bones there on the belt as well. Just very, very cool. Gloved hands going on. Just an awesome looking figure. Every time I kind of look at it, I see something different. Uh, just a lot going on on this one where we've seen a lot of these kind of going through the motion with some of these Walmart ones. It's kind of felt like this feels like a lot of attention to detail. A fabulous, fabulous figure is the old tracker here, the old shadow tracker. Articulation arms do go all the way around for us. Bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows. We're here for that. Hands back, forth, side to side. Two trigger hands on him here. You do get waist articulation a little side to side. He does have an ab crunch inside there, but you're a little bit limited, of course, by his vest. Big old shadow tracker splits if you do need them. Thigh cuts looking good. Of course, drop down hips, G.I. Joe style. Double jointed, pinless knees. We're here for that, of course. Boot cut. Ankles up and down, side to side, back and forth. All the usual G.I. Joe articulation here. We are here for that all day long. Just a fabulous figure. Once again, I've said it a few times, a fabulous figure. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. What do you know? Fits perfectly right there. Man, oh man, am I here for this. I love this figure. I knew I would like it. I love the 3 and 3 fourths version. I know it says head scratcher for a lot of G.I. Joe fans as he's a pretty deep cut character. But man, is he a cool character. Going to have him and Rakondo squaring off. It's going to be a, an epic jungle battle is what it's going to be at the end of the day. But a fabulous, fabulous figure. So far out of all the Walmart exclusives, he is going to be my favorite one so far. And of course, I talked about the old wolf spider we recently unboxed. Kind of side by side right here. I'll take the shadow tracker over him. I'm here for the jungle all day long. Take him over the wolf spider. Very, very cool figure, no doubt about it. One of the best of this year, in all honesty. I really like the attention to detail here. So there it is. What are your guys' thoughts? Is this a pickup for you, a pass, a long game, a no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And you made it this far. Might as well give this video the old thumbs up. Always helps the channel, as you guys know. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Turn on the old notification bell. And don't forget about Patreon for early access to both YouTube channels' videos. Bonus content, exclusive content, monthly Q&As, pizza reviews, dog stuff. You name it, it's all going on over there, the old Patreon channel. Patreon, best place to support this very YouTube channel and all the madness it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the mighty jungle tracker, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.